Hey guys, so I have a very full, very full um, cloth diaper bag and I thought I would go ahead and show you our wash routine. Um, this is something I get asked about a lot and so I figured today's a great day for it. So I'm gonna walk you through what we do. Um, I will say everybody, pretty much everyone I talk to has a different routine. So I would definitely like there are things to consider um, if you have hard water, if you're a front load dryer or like washer, top load washer. Um, I'll link below my favorite um, cloth diaper website. I think it's called Fluff University. I'll clarify, I'll put like a little link here, but also have it down below. But they just do a really good job. You want me to read that? Um, they do a really good job just explaining the different types based on like your water, your washer, and all of that. So I would definitely clarify there, but I also know it's helpful to see like what other people are doing. So Yay! I would go ahead and share what we do and what works for us. Um, and then my uh, last caveat is that, look at the boy planting <coughs> seeds. Um, my last caveat is that we have had to change our routine like something works for a little while and then just something's yeah. off so we modify a little bit um so no if you are cloth diapering or looking into it um, <laughs> yeah you see he's so excited boy shouts green sprout <laughs> he gets so excited about this garden book um considered. which is really fun anyway um so not to intimidate you, but know that it's like a learning process. Sometimes you do something and you're like, we're going to try something else. Um, again, not in a way to be discouraging, but just to encourage you that like there's no one perfect system. And like we just recently modified ours again because our diapers just like smelling 100%. And so that's when I was like, let me try something else. And then that's something's been working. So that's what I'm going to share today. Literally, look at this. Say like boy shouts. All right, turn the page. What's next? <gasps> Green shouts! <laughs> Do you love that part? Yeah. Yeah, are you excited? <laughs> excited about our garden. Okay, say bye. Bye. So this is my wet bag. This is where all the dirty diapers are and I'm gonna go ahead and wash that. This is by Monkey Foot Designs. Highly, highly, highly recommend. I'm not gonna open it up right now, but like if you look at these, these are like cheaper ones. They're really thin inside. They're great for like if I'm running errands and just wanna throw one dirty diaper or two dirty diapers. Um, it's great for that. But this, actually, I might not remember. So I'm just gonna like hold my breath. This has a double thick liner. So this, literally, this bag, it holds in the stain. Yeah. So, sorry, I have Malachi with me. Um, it holds in the stain so, so well. So, highly, highly recommend for your wet bag, that's like for your regular, like everyday use, getting a high quality one. Um, because again, the small ones are great for like, day-to-day -day stuff, or like, in a pinch, like I just bought a second one of these bags because I was like, I need because it takes a little while to dry. So anyway, highly recommend that. So I'm gonna go take this down to the washer. Excuse me. Yeah, hey, you're gonna help me? Okay, can you close can you close the gate behind me? No, no, no. Hold on. Thank you. But mama needs to be on the other side of that. Can I go through? Thank you. You know, you live in a house with toddlers when there's just random stuff everywhere. And just the things he throws. Yeah, another Lego. It's fine. So, we are in our laundry room, which is also a mess. And we have front load washers. Um, so, I am going to load everything in here.
And I'm gonna go ahead and wash the bag too. All right, so we have all our cloth diapers in here. Um, they're still stuffed. So for this first wash, what I do, close it, turn on. I do normal regular because we don't have, like this rinse cycle is cold only. And that's what I used to do, but I found that the cold rinse cycle wasn't actually like getting all the gunk off. So the way I can get a warm rinse cycle is by doing just a regular load and then I can get warm. Um, and I go ahead and throw in just a little bit of detergent for the first load, I do this. This is not usually recommended, um, but it's what I use. This is what I used before. We're just out of that in seventh generation. We haven't had any issues. So I just do just the smallest amount of detergent and then I hit start. And that is the first rinse. So if you're not familiar with cloth diapering, you always want to do a rinse first just to get like, you know, even though I'm cleaning off all the poop, there's still just like pee and grime. And so like, you can't really like wash something that's like just dirty. So it's really good to do a rinse um, just to get all that like guck out. And then after we do the rinse, um, that's when I will pull out all of the inserts so that everything can get washed really well and do a full wash cycle, um, which also still has another rinse, um, and whatnot. So I'll walk you through that. But anyway, it does take a little while. And then I think because today is sunny outside, I think I might actually sun my diapers outside. Um, it is finally spring. So I might give them a good sun bleach and bath. Okay, I heard the beep and I forgot to come down to do something about it. So I need to switch the laundry before my sunlight runs out. This is a problem, you know? I'm going to open it and we are going to take, since I have mostly pockets, that one's empty. Let's see, this one still has stuff in it, but you can see, pretty clean. Um, so I'm gonna pull this out. Okay, I can't do it one-handed. Okay. I have everything sorted. So it's all, you know, here's the inserts, here's covers, and there's nothing in them. So now everything can get thoroughly washed. I always like tumble just to like make sure that I didn't forget anything. And then, whoa. So this is what we use. We use Rock and Green. I'll have the link below. There's a scooper already in it. So we literally, and I just, um, it has instructions, so like based on what you want to do, if you have intense buildup, but this is just a regular wash, so do that, close it. I go to whitest whites, which means there's going to be an extra rinse and it's on hot. So I'll do that. That is the process for now. I will continue to update you guys. Um, this is just taking me, I'm not used to like filming our cloth diaper routine. Um, so, but there is usually a lot of back and forth of just me being like, oh yeah, I gotta switch the laundry. Um, so, you know, mom life. All right, third time's the charm. Going down to get everything to hang up to dry. So usually what I do is just grab this. It's just like a foldable rack. I bring it right in here and then start hanging.
So I'll just move this back over here. And there we go. So I let this dry overnight and then usually the next day we're good to go. Alrighty guys, that is our cloth diaper routine. So like I said, I will link everything down below, um, especially that website that talks about like your specific need, but a lot of it's just trial and error. Um, there's so many good Facebook groups that like can go, you can get Facebook groups specific to um, the cloth diaper like company you use, use and ask moms. Like that's how I found out about the rocking green detergent because I just feel like the Ultra Plus wasn't working from seven generation wasn't working well enough for us. There's a lot of other different brands that are still like decently clean. Um, if you're not familiar with the Think Dirty app, that's a great place to go. So yeah, that's our routine. Happy to answer any questions. Again, what I was saying though, is it's just a lot of like trial and error. You try one thing and like you'll know if the diapers aren't clean. So uh, you try something else and then you like know if it doesn't work. Um, Cause the diapers like will look and smell not clean so thankfully it's a pretty easy thing to realize if you're doing it right or not um and again it's a lot harder i would say or just like there's more steps involved when your child is eating solids um if they're breastfed you just throw everything in you don't have to rinse it it's great i miss those days it was glorious um you trying to push the table but now that he's eating solids we spray which again it's not that big of a deal Hey, come here. You want to come sit with mama and say goodbye? <laughs> come say goodbye to everyone. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. And again, please just be encouraged if you are cloth diapering that it really is a worthy journey. There's a little trial and error, but that's true of anything you do in life. So anyway, can you say bye? Bye. Can you blow a kiss? Can you say amen? Amen. Amen. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Again, links will be down below. And feel free to ask me any questions that you have. I'm far from an expert, but have definitely just been learning a lot as I go. And I'm excited to chat with you guys next time. All right, ciao.